SoFi update here on the 11th. So last time we left off on an update, we obviously got screwed on our earnings and we sold off down here to 460. We didn't make it to the low fours. That was nice. And we got a good bounce. And I talked about how there was a gap here to be filled at 546, 547. We filled that, went a little bit higher than it. I think this is a five wave move right here. And so since it's a five wave move, I would guess that the most likely scenario based on where the overall market is as well, is something like this. Kind of like that over the next um, maybe week or two. And when we came up here from the bottom, we created two gaps at 517 and 492. We filled one of them perfectly right here on this candle. We bounced and we're coming down here a little bit lower. I think that we need to hit 492 before we go higher. I guess we don't necessarily have to, but it's probably likely we come down here and hit this candle or this 492 area and then go higher. So that's kind of what I'm looking for uh, short term. And then zooming out on the whole move, we go to the daily time frame. I think that we are likely right here, um, basically. So uh, basically this right here is A, B, C. And then on this one right here, this is also A, B, C. And so I kind of think that we're in this area right here. So I think we could see an ABC pattern play out like that. And then I think there's a good chance we go lower, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> if you look at the high here and the high here, and you draw that parallel line down here, I think there's a good chance that we just see an overall pattern like this. Because it's kind of just the exact same pattern right here. And then we go up to here. So the whole thing would end up being... <clears throat> probably something like this. Kind of like that, and then we'd probably go to new lows, to be honest, because I, I expect the overall market to um, basically go to new lows in 2024 or late 2023. So I think this makes a lot of sense. That means we were in currently the D wave, <clears throat> and we'd be making an E wave um, basically for our final ascent up before going down to my targets 375. So not that much lower than where we just were, maybe a dollar less. And then that should be the overall bottom for the for SoFi, like on this whole downtrend that started in 2021. So starting here, basically WXY all the way down here, 375. So that's kind of my base case. Short term though, I would look for 492 and then probably a bounce. So if you're selling puts here, $5 puts, you're probably gonna be good. If you buy the dip around 492 or anywhere around $5 really, you should be able to make some money on the next move higher. But again, it's probably gonna look something like this. And depending on when we go down there, we could hit low fours, 410, it would actually make a new all-time low. So if I'm wrong about this and we just keep on going higher, this is still possible that we bottomed right here as well. And that would change the whole chart. It would look like... Uh, it would look a little bit different. And I would probably draw... No, it would be kind of like a, a wedge here. But I would change it to... I don't know if I would change it actually. It would just be a, is it a descending wedge? I think it's a descending wedge. Yeah, so we'd have kind of a wedge here and then we'd go down to new lows, but it would just be different because we'd bottom right here at 460 and then we would make a, probably an ABC move higher. But again, I think this is pretty unlikely because the overall market's about the top. And so I think it's more likely what I put out earlier. Bounce to maybe, 
Let's see where the 1.61 fib is. So maybe bounce to like 620 and then see a move down into somewhere in June, I guess. So probably in June, I'm guessing that the market's going to correct in June, but who knows? Maybe it will keep on melting up and this will actually be the bottom when we'll get a move up here. So that's what I see. The main points to take away are we have a gap to fill at 492. We filled a gap at 517. And short term, I don't think we're going to go much lower than five, but we could be going down here to the low fours after we bounce up here. So if you have shares, you might want to sell them around $6 or sell covered calls or buy puts to hedge your shares. So that's the update for today. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, we just got to grind away. It's probably going to be, I bet you it's going to be another six months, maybe six to nine months before we see a bottom, maybe. That's kind of my guess. But then we do have the student loans are getting restarted, I think they said by September. So we might bottom and then run into that. That'd be kind of a good um, thesis for going into the fall. So that's it. Uh, leave me a comment, leave me a like, and I'll try to do these updates more often when we get some movement. Let's see if we hit 492 tomorrow, but it's probably going to be next week, I would guess. All right, that's it.